All right, guys. After a whole week, we're finally back to Radiant Dawn, and we'll finally get to play the prologue. Yep, part, part four. four. I've waited so long for this. Yep. Well, it's a good thing I had time this morning. That's good. Yeah. Wow, I literally have less units to work with. I mean, you got Nephany. <laughs> yeah, you got Nephany. I got Laura. I got Ileana. Yeah. I'm going to side with us. Oh, yeah, it wouldn't be the first time Ileana sided with Midkaya. Yeah. It already happened in part one. Or Slow Kaya. I'm, I am this close to leveling up. I mean, to ranking up the S rank into SS rank just so she could get the Rex Bolt. It's it's basically the strongest lightning magic to have. Oh yeah, that's why you can't use it yet. Yeah. But she'll use it eventually. Don't worry about it. Honestly, I am not sure if I'll ever level up Marcia. She is close, but... I'm honestly not sure if I'll be able to use her. Yeah, her strength looks pretty low. Yeah. Sigrun, I'm not sure if I'll bring her in the final chapter. She is pretty mixed, I will say. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah, you got your fun you got your funny bird lady. <laughs> and I also got Tanith, who could potentially be good. Since... I mean she hasn't even leveled up yet. Yeah, but her stats actually looks good, from what I can tell. Well, you could definitely max out her stats if you leveled her up. Yeah, and I have Leanne, who is actually gonna be worth keeping. Well, she's a bird. Of course she's worth keeping. Alright, so let's start the chapter. South, wake everyone up and gather them at the square. Enemies are on the way. What? Huh? Alright. I'm on it. Lady Mikaya, has the enemy arrived already? Not yet, but they're coming. I'm sure of it. I can't smell troops or weapons. How can you be certain? I don't know who they are, the exact numbers, but the enemy army's massive. Eh. I know it sounds strange, but I swear it's true. You must believe me. No one doubts your gifts, Micaiah. I'll not ignore the words of one who's spoken with the voice of the goddess. Oh. Oh, Micaiah, looks like you're right. We have guests. Yeah, you done playing F-Zero GX over there, Nutella? I guess so. Oh my god! Holy that is shit, a, shit. that is a lot. Leave them to me. The weak among you should hide, for the battle will be fierce. Yeah, hide hide your Leaths and Mordecai's. Empress Sanaki, we should we should uh, we should leave the fighting to the to General Sk Skipper. I will take you someplace safe. No, I'll stay and fight with the others. With all due respect, Empress, I cannot allow it. What if you were injured? If Micaiah, an untrained girl from the streets of Dane, is fighting, then I shall stand my ground as well. Empress. You can't win an argument with royalty. Don't worry about her. I'll look after the Apostle. That's a kind offer, but I must decline. If it is the first and most sacred duty of the Holy Knight to protect the Apostle. Looks like the enemy's about to take the this argument out of our hands. They're here. Do you, Barak, ever stop talking? Take your positions, now! <laughs> suddenly, suddenly, uh, idle animation. <laughs> well, this is going to be a really long episode. Episode. Wow, so you're, but, so you're forced to take these six members with you, I see. Yep. And we actually have Sonaki. Wow. Um, and she has Arc Thunder and Arc Wind and, and she has, Cymbeline, whatever that is. It's Cymbeline. Oh. 
Cymbeline. But yeah, it's meant to be the ultimate fire magic. Wow. That puts, um... That puts people like Soth to shame. <laughs> yep. no, or not Soth. Why did I say Soth? I meant Sorin. <laughs> yeah, it literally makes Sorin to shame. Yeah, Sorin and Khalil and even Ileana. Yep. And she she literally has S rank on almost. I mean, she has S rank on fire, and and all of the A rank in magic. I guess that's the benefit of the uh, Empress class. <laughs> Yeah, but the thing is, is that that you actually need to keep her alive. Oh, great. It's a uh, escort mission. Yeah. Well, I mean, not really. Basically, she is one of the most important units to just keep keep her alive, and if she dies, then it's game over. Great. More people to look after. As if looking after Slow Kaya wasn't hard enough. You know what? Jacob, you should look at freaking Sanaki's stats in this game. Alright, sure. Let's see. Radiant Dawn. It says he it says he's only available in Prologue Part Episode Chapter Three and Endgame. <laughs> well, let's see. Um, she has good HP, magic, and skill growth. Yeah, that's basically what she has. She she actually has those good uh, freaking. Uh, what's it called? Growth rate. Yep, on the specific, on the specific stats. But what she is, what is she terrible with? Well, let's see. It says Cymbeline is the second best magic fire magic in the game. Despite this, her offensive potential is crippled by her low strength. Though it does not affect the power of her attacks, it causes most tomes to weigh her down a lot. Preventing for preventing her from doing doubles, and she also has low defense. Yeah, we can see that. And Ironic. but since she starts at S rank fire, she has the potential to get Rex Flame. Yeah, basically the strongest fire magic in the but, game. But Rex Flame also really slows her down. Yeah. And I'll, yeah, I might even give the Rex Flame to someone else. I might give, I might give the Rex Flame to Khalil. Yeah, I don't know what Khalil's strength is, but it's gonna be better than Sonic's, that's for sure. Yeah, true. So I mean, basically, so Sonic can't max, double. The funny thing is that her maximum defense is literally twenty defense. Hey, it's still better than Slow Kai's defense. Got him. You know, ironic enough, Micaiah's defense is going to be 23 defense. Oh. Yeah. And her maximum speed is 22. I mean, 32. Mm -hmm. I meant to say 32. And her her maximum HP well, is like... Her maximum HP is like 40. I mean, 45. That sounds pretty good. Yeah. Even though she she will have the lowest HP possible, but that's all I'm gonna say. She she only has like she only has like ten levels to max out her speed. If I could just max it out constantly, but yeah. I'm just going to leave out some units that are not worth taking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry to say this, Leaf, but you're not coming with us. You're not you're not coming with us this game. And we also have Nutella. Yep, and, and he, he he's pretty strong. Oh yeah, he will be strong. He's gonna have thirty four strength and forty two speed, so he's basically guaranteed to double. <laughs> 
Yeah, he's actually gonna be really good. Yeah. And we also have Skimmer. Yep, Skipper Ooh. is uh, also pretty strong. 38 strength. Yes, potential, I'll say. Yep. So yeah, that's all we have for the units right now. <laughs> Class Lion and Raven King. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a great start, isn't it? Here are the minions of the Dark God. Go forth, disciples, and deliver the holy judgment of the goddess. Destroy them. Destroy all humans. You, all of you. You are all Benyan citizens. I'm so relieved you're all safe. Sadaki, be careful. I don't know they're going to be... I don't think they're going to be pleased to see you. What are you... Minions of the Dark God, we are the disciples of order, led by Blessed Lord Lucane. I mean, uh, Luca Luobano. He wants to, he, he wants a season three of the Super Show. You better listen. We have been charged by the Goddess of Shara to clean your to cleanse your taint from the world. Your ball sack smells. Death to the tainted souls. Let none escape. And Prisanaki, please stay back. These traitors must have sighted with the Senate during the cope because of Senator Armstrong. Apostle Sonic, he's a fraud. Any apostle defies the edicts of the goddess is an enemy to the people. What? No, I... Silence. Betrayers of the Empire, how dare you accuse the Empress for treason? Only, only treason can be death, can be punished by death. Ooh, this Burn is up. some interesting music. Ooh, this is some good music. <laughs> right? Alright, uh, by the way, mid and brigade, by the way, this you not, redeemed yourself. This is not even the Dawn Brigade, brigade anymore. Since no? we have more. No, it's. Right now, it's literally called the Silver Army. Oh, so the Silver Army battle theme then? Yeah, pretty much. Literally, everybody is working together. Yeah, sorry, so if you, sorry, sorry if you guys hear any noise. Uh, fucking lawnmower guy is out there again. I hate it. I want to hate when he's out there while I'm recording. <laughs> That's understandable. They always, pick the, is just they, they always pick the worst times to use that thing. Yeah, true. Nolan is literally just going to constantly level up. Yeah, I mean, you don't get to play as the mid-brigade that much. Yeah, true. That's just what I call them now, the mid-brigade. <laughs> well, I might not have to worry about fixing my BRSTMs then, because they're probably not. it's probably not even going to play the, the broken songs. Yeah, that's true. And shit, I literally forgot to bring Leanne. I mean, Lauren. Oh. Should I even restart? It's only turn one, you can reset. Okay, just... Oh yeah, right, I should give you a uh, mouse control. Okay. Don't worry, it will be quick. All right, we're back. Yeah, we are sorry for what hey, just happened. Hey, God, don't. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry to ruin the music. <laughs> okay. I think, I think, I think out of everybody, though, Zeppi gets the most pissed at the, at the, at, at my singing. <laughs> Where I just well, start, I just start saying "take a dumb" over like any song, and then he just he gets mad. <laughs> Well, can't blame him. It's funny though. It's funny when he gets mad. I mean, he does get funny. I mean, he does laugh whenever I get really frustrated. Yep. Wonder if he'll get the same level up. Wait, now it's now it's playing the Dawn Brigade theme. Pretty cool, huh? 
Is is it is does like only um does only like Nutella get his own battle theme or something? Yeah, I guess. I mean, if so, that's cool. I think honestly, that's something that I think more Fire Emblem games could use. I think the mute the battle music should 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 change depending on what unit you're using. Oh shit! He got the brave sword. Oh crap. So Jacob, are there any specific weapons that I have to worry about in this in this prolo prologue? I mean, I don't know. Okay, let me just check the chapter. I mean, you can check the you can check the units, can't you? No, I mean, in this in this uh, in this section of part four, I actually have to get the legendary weapons. Oh well, I wouldn't know anything about getting those. Okay. Radiant Dawn chapters. Okay, just give me a sec. <laughs> I, I, I just sent Zeppi a funny message. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I said, do in Radiant, Radiant Dawn and your mama. <laughs> Dave, he's gonna be mad at you. I know. But hey, at least he'll come to the Radiant Dawn stream. It'll be funny. Okay. Alright, Jacob. So, there's no legendary weapons in this chapter. I mean, it's the prologue. I wouldn't expect there to be. And neither is the first chapter. I guess we're also gonna find out if the BRSTM patcher worked or not. <laughs> okay. Because uh, Elijah told me to patch the Brassar, which may or may not fix the music. I don't I think know. it's less likely that's gonna happen. I mean, it's possible, but I won't. I'm not gonna count on it. And also, um. I'm gonna have to. F I'm gonna see if I can figure out how to. Um, I'm gonna see if I can figure out how to edit. Um, make a Fire Emblem game. <laughs> I still want to make yeah, that. That, that, be... that, that. I still want to make that. That would be really cool. Yeah, I don't know how many. I don't know how many chapters it should have. Maybe like twenty or something. Yeah, maybe. Oh, I found out that there is a legendary weapon. There's one that's in, like, like Chapter 2 of Part 4. Chapter 2, okay. Or at least... Is that the chapter that Ike does? Because if so, that would make a lot of sense. No. Yeah, I don't Not know, because really. I, I don't know who does what chapter. Basically, in the... It's ba it's basically gonna... It, it's the, it's gonna be the silver-haired, or, or at least the silver army. Oh. <laughs> are, they, are they only called the silver army because Micaiah has silver hair? That's Cause, one of cause, the reasons. Because she's called the silver-haired maiden. Yeah, that's one of the reasons. <laughs> but hey, at least there's a reason as to why. Do you think? Do you think? Um, do you think this game would have been any different if they called it Radiant Maiden instead? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, it would. <laughs> Radiant Maiden. The name kind of sounds a bit lame when I say it out loud. Yeah, it... <laughs> yeah, it doesn't even sound that good. What if they called it Radiant Dusk instead of Dawn? Maybe, since it sounds a bit cool. Radiant Dusk. <laughs> it'd be like a, it'd be like a Pokemon situation, where they make two different copies of um, Fire Emblem. And one of them is called Radiant Dusk, and one of them is called Radiant Dawn. <laughs> in one co in one copy of the game, you get to play as Micaiah, and the other copy, you get to play as Ike. 
Well, it does sound like an interesting concept, I will say that. Yep. And all I can say is, okay, then. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna save state just in case something bad has happened. Yep, you never know. Grandpa might die. He might die of old age on the battlefield. Skipper might, you know, rip uh, Nutella's wings off for being too much of a tryhard at F-Zero GX. Yeah, that's true. Well, I don't think... Yeah, I don't think Sor freaking South is going to promote until... You know Until what? they make it to the end game. You know why he he's gonna need, he's gonna need to talk to Doctor Robotnik about that one. Yeah, true. <laughs> he's gonna have to ask him for a promotion. Yes, a promotion. <laughs> oh shit, he is dying. He's dying. He's pulling his cock out. Sure, target yeah, Tanith, will ya? That's not gonna do you any good. Wow! How did that miss? Okay, well, at least they Oh, 65% hit rate. That makes a lot of sense now. But his, but his hit rate is literally like 40-something percent. Bird. Now that missed. Terror. <laughs> he literally got terror as well. Didn't he have that in Path of Radiance, too? I'm not sure. I feel like he did, because I could have sworn he used it. Did he? Yeah. Oh, well, okay. I mean, I remember that optional that optional fight against him, and I swear he used that at some point. That probably happened in the endgame. Could be an endgame, too. Because I think we used him in endgame. Yeah, we did. Even though I think according to the wiki, he's like one of the worst per he's like one of the worst ones to use for end game. <laughs> <laughs> I, c I could be wrong. I know uh, Captain Falcon's the best for end game because he does like the most damage. Yeah, and he does have a skill that can cancel all enemy attacks. Yeah, so that's why he's the best. Oh, that. Oh yeah, that definitely makes a lot of sense. <laughs> oh yeah, it's all coming together. <laughs> I should start making like a list of units I should add to the funny Fire Emblem game. Sure, you can do that. We could add we could add Kronk into the game. <laughs> yeah, Kronk from Emperor's New Groove. Yeah, we'll make we'll make Kronk an axe unit. That actually makes sense. Yep. Alright, Nephany, let's see or I mean uh, I mean Ileana. Well, Let's see like, what you can do. What it, like how many um like what's the average amount of units that are in each FE game? Probably like I don't know. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, like, I mean, I can look up how many are in this game. Yeah, there. You can literally give like fifty. You can literally bring fifteen units of your choice. Let's see. Uh, skills. List of characters in Radiant Dawn. So I'm gonna do um I'm gonna do a quick and not so quick tally of how many characters are in this game. All right, you can do that if you'd like. Well, could have been worse, anyways. Uh, according to the wiki, there are 73 units in this game. Yeah, in, in that's total. a lot. That's including um, ones that you can only recruit in New Game Plus. I know. So yeah, that's a lot of fucking units. That's a lot of units. That's what I've been saying. I mean, 
I could compare that to how many units are in Engage, because I swear there are less in Engage. In this game, there's probably, like, a lot. There's a like fire- so there's a fire emblem engage manga? <laughs> what? Yeah, there exists one. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, it is crazy. Hmm. Let's look at- let's look at the list of characters. Alright, who, who are the list of characters you are willing to look for? There's only 41 characters in Engage. That's like half as many as there are in this game. Well... That's, that's kind of wild. Oh, it is wild. Oh. Holy shit! Oh, here comes, uh, Cymbeline. It literally looks like a meteor. <laughs> Sonic, he gives no fucks. <laughs> That's true. As she, as she literally did in the animation. <laughs> she, she, does, she did a little dance at the end. That's kind of sad, honestly. That, like, Fire Emblem Gage has less units than this game. I mean, if you're not- if you're- if we're not counting, like, a lot of, like, the boss units and stuff that you can recruit in this game, it's more along, like, you know, 60 units, which is still way more. This, this game literally has the most units so far. Yeah, I think so. I can, or I could ask Google that question. <laughs> what Fire Emblem game has the most units? Well, you won't be surprised anymore. Um, New Mystery of the Emblem has the most, with a total of 77 characters. Wow. Yeah, right, I doubt that. I don't know, man, that's what Brave's saying. And he maxed out... <laughs> he maxed out magic. Wow. <laughs> Skill and res. <laughs> what? Okay, that's funny. Yeah, he really, that... does, he really does not need that. I mean, res, I could see why, but unfortunately, his res is kind of low. Oh, well, don't know if we're gonna play, um, don't know if we're gonna play New Mystery of the Emblem then, because it has 77 units, which is too many. Especially because you can only have, like, you know, like 12 to 15 per, per chapter. I think we'll be better off playing the original one. Since Maybe. It's shorted. Isn't that one on SNES anyway? Yeah. So it'll probably be better. Yeah, I'm very sure to, that it will be better. Hmm. But I will say that it does that the that each DS version actually has better remixes. Hmm. Also, I think the music is working correctly now. It hasn't broke yet. That's actually good. So I think I think patching the Brassar actually helped. Yeah, you really need you really need to help me <laughs> get started with this kind of shit. All right, well, just tell me when you've downloaded Audacity and Brawlbox. All right, Bra Brawl Bra friggin' Brawl Crate. I already downloaded. Yeah. Like I said. Oh my god! There's a crossbow. Okay, I guess that is a unit you gotta look out for. Well, now you just need audacity, then. Yeah, I just do need audacity. And I'm sure you can get most of your music from, uh... I'm sure you can get most of your music from KH Insider, like I do. Yeah, that's probably what I do. Ha! You missed! Loser! So get the and... fuck out of here, you stupid crossbow man. <laughs> where's, where's my get the fuck out of here sound? Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> there we go. Great. Garfield. Only zero damage, Garfield. that's depressing. Think. The Lion King just stands there menacingly. Uh oh. Oh no! 
Okay, I definitely have to worry about the freaking mage that's over there, obviously. Oh no! Anyway! Wow, I can't believe bro hit through that 31% hit rate. And he died for it. I, li I like these gold units, they look pretty cool. Yeah, true, they look really awesome. Probably because little Bono is all yellow. And he literally missed. And how, <laughs> she got stunned. Stunned. And how the fuck did they get? How the fuck did they get yellow horses? <laughs> That's what I'm more confused about. They are from Benyon, after all. What did Benyon spray paint the horses yellow or something? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, what is the steel blade even gonna do? Three percent hit rate. Imagine if he landed a three percent hit perfect rate. Perfect damage. Be... Imagine if he literally landed with the three percent. That would be a miracle to happen. I mean, Zeppi got a Zeppi got hit with like a three percent crit in Link Arena. If you remember, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I'm still never gonna forget like... about that. I mean, honestly, something like that will never count because sometimes crits can be expected. But that will never happen. Yep, and that will never happen. Mario here. <laughs> Mario here. Incredible. Incredible. <laughs> this time I have to level up Sonaki. <laughs> Wario Land 2 for the Game Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Yeah, that's another that's another funny living with Wario YouTube poop I found, guys. I don't think I'll have to waste uh, this tome since it's really important. Mm-hmm. I could just save it for the final chapter, or at least. Yeah. <laughs> the I remember when Wario said, "I need to get to the virtual bathroom." <laughs> the virtual bathroom. <laughs> That sounds funny. <laughs> the virtual bathroom, it's coming, it's coming. <laughs> it's running down my buttocks. It's running down my buttocks. It's running down my buttocks. Yeah, I don't know why. I, I still have that dumbass sound on my soundboard. And again, I'm not. I, I haven't taken any sounds off my soundboard. Like I, unless like for some reason I lost the file somehow. I just have the exact same sound effects that I've been using for like three years now. Well, that's nice. It's like I still have the Metal Gear sound. Gear. <laughs> Metal Gear. Shut the fuck. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> oh, he got there. There Great. again. I'm telling you, Nutella would be a great unit. And he got locked. Even though, even though he got locked. <laughs> I forgot I have the MLG horn on here. Yeah, it looks like he won't be untransformed for a while. Yeah, I guess you could say he's more than meets the eye. I get where you're going. <laughs> Honestly, I knew what you were going for. <laughs> You somehow made a bird joke. Yeah, bird joke. And a Transformers joke at the same time. <laughs> Interesting. Get out of here! Okay, I have the chance to kill this freaking purge prick. <laughs> purge prick. <laughs> that could be a good and, title. And bye bye, you purge prick. <laughs> oh no, I'm dying, dude. Think that's a good that's level. That's a good level. Yeah, it is. Even though she can't move. So if I were yeah. to if I were to make a fire emblem game, wouldn't it be ideal to have like w at least one or two of like every kind of class and like weapon user? Yeah. Because that seems how be how most fire emblem games are structured. Like you have like you know you have like your your two like halberdier units. You have like two axe knights. Um, or the axe there generals. Could, there could be. You could actually use a freaking fighter. That would be cool. A fighter, yeah. I wouldn't know who'd be good with that. Um, you know, you could have like your. You have you could have like your couple of bow units. You How know. about an armor unit? Yeah, an armor unit. Um, 
which would be nice. I mean, I don't really know what kinds of units are in um, Sacred Stones. But the funny thing is that all that... It, it's funny to say this, but the classes are actually customized, all of them. Wow. I can make my own classes? There, there exist martial classes in the custom GBA game. Oh. Also, is that the first time you use Sacrifice? Yeah. I think that's the first time I've ever seen that be used. And probably the yeah, last um, time. Yeah, maybe. Are there any units in Sacred Stones that aren't in any other FE games? Probably not. I mean, obviously, I know Sacred Stones isn't going to have Lagoos units. <laughs> oh, they aren't. And freaking Lara is gonna miss, is going to avoid that 8% hit rate. Uh, you know, let's look that up. List of classes in Sacred Stones. Cause I'm building, I'm building my ROM off of uh, Sacred Stones, cause that's like the most up-to-date GBA Fire Emblem game. It like, is. Like, I, yeah, sure, I could build it off of um, Binding Blade or Blazing Blade, but I want as much stuff to work from as possible. Yeah, that's understandable. Come on, get more speed. Yes, he got speed. Now, let's see. We have Lord. Makes sense. Great Lord. Cavalier. Paladin. Man, Knight. Beating. General Thief. A Manakeet? A manic what is that? Basically, units who can transform into dragons. That's that's new. I haven't heard of that one. It's always been a staple to to FE games. Manakeets are dragons. Mm. Okay, we have born. we have mercenaries, heroes, Myrmidon, swordmaster, assassin, archer, sniper, ranger, wyvern rider, wyvern lord, wyvern knight. Mage, Sage, Mage, Knight, Bishop, Shaman, Druid, Summoner. Some of these I have not heard before. Rogue? Druids are basically the equivalent of the Sorcerer class. Hmm. Great Knight, Recruit, Journeyman, Pupil, Recruit, Manakeet, Journeyman, Pupil, Fighter, Warrior, Brigand, Pirate, Berserker, Monk, Priest, Bard, Pegasus Knight, Falcon Knight, Cleric. Ooh! Oh. She got a crit! Eliana's doing something cool. Um, she is. What the hell is a Troubadour? <laughs> oh, a Troubadour? Basically, a Troubadour is basically like, like a mounted healer. Oh, cool. So... Kind of similar. Okay, it looks like it's similar to a Valkyrie. That's because Va that's because the freaking that's because Valkyries are the higher troubadours. Oh, I see. In that game, they just use magic instead of swords. I mean, technically, that would be better for someone like Mist because Mist's um, you know, physical sucks. Uh, okay, we got dancers. Those have always been a staple. Soldier, yeah, Dan Necromancer. Yeah, Dancers are literally one of the best units in the entire game. Hmm. Leet, Phantom, Revenant, Entombed, Bonewalker, <laughs> White. Those are just new class. Those are just new enemy classes. They're just basically monster classes. Oh, I see. Gargoyle. Okay, and I'm, now I'm just reading enemy units. I mean, you can read the enemy units if you want to. I can make the enemy units into, like, recruits. <laughs> yeah, you can do that. That could be cool. Yeah, it would. Like, you could literally make your own gargoyles and shit. What if I made Bowser the gargoyle class? You know what? That, that could actually fit him. <laughs> yep. And yeah, who cares anyways? Another thing I would need to learn how to do is how to make my own maps. Yeah, making your own maps is kind of tough, but you have, you have to make... 
You have to make maps that, you know, look really cool and stuff. I mean, I wouldn't say maps like these look very cool. <laughs> it's just lands with rivers in them. Yeah. I mean, you you can make maps that has gimmicks. Mm, yeah. Or just... Or just make, uh... Or just make maps for specific turns. Probably... Probably ones that you can seize. Yeah, I'll have to figure all that out, I guess. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I kind of like the idea of cha of chapter requirements where you can seize. Yeah, yeah, I guess they're gonna be like variety or something. Yeah, I mean, who doesn't love variety? But right now, this is all hypothetical. If I don't do anything with that, it's just going to become another one of my dead ideas. <laughs> Which is well, no Jacob, fun. Have... Well, Jacob, you don't have to worry about your own dead ideas. Because the ideas come to fruition. I mean, back in the day, I wanted to make a third Mar RPG ROM hack, and that never ended up happening. Yeah. Because I just got burnt out on Mar on Mario RPG hacking, because it just became very frustrating to do. Because shit would go wrong, and then I wouldn't be able to do anything. Only you were motivated, just like freaking Virgil. Yeah. <laughs> and she actually got a good level up. Good on you. Yeah. But like I said, her maximum speed will be like... Hmm... 32. 32! Yeah. I mean, she is manageable enough to gain speed. It's only hypothetical, not entirely true. I have done, like, two sprites for, um... Radi of, uh, for my Fire Emblem game so far. <laughs> Really? I, 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 I did I did Ike and I did Mega Man and <laughs> that's it. If only you could show me what your progress looks like. Yeah, I, I could try. It's not much so far. That's okay. I could try showing after this. Oh shit. Bird up. Wait, what? I don't know what that was. So it's basically like it literally functions like counter. He has his own counter, I guess. Think. Yeah, go, Laura. Bonk the enemy with your staff for two damage. That's honestly surprising to see a staff as a weapon. To I, some... I mean, it's just funny that she did damage at all. Yeah, she barely does damage. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll show my progress after this, because I haven't worked on it in like a few weeks i worked on it f for like i worked on it one day and then i just kind of gave up but i'll try I, actually, I might go back at it you were actually using fe builder i was using fe builder nice i got kind of demotivated though because the mu the custom music program doesn't work oh that stinks yeah i open i like i try opening it and it just closes it just doesn't work <laughs> So, that's something I'll have to figure out later. I feel like I should, you know, I feel like I should have better priorities, though, when it comes to, um, like, making games. Like, I feel like the music should come last. The music should not be a priority. As much as I, yeah, you know, as much as I want it to be. Well, at least you'll never know until you try, I guess. Yeah, so I'll, I'll figure out that music thing later. For now, I just want to... You know, kind of see if I can build a map and get a functioning map. And maybe I can also figure out how to make cutscenes, too. Yeah. Because that's, that's another thing I'd have to figure out, is how to make cutscenes. <laughs> well, Jacob, cutscenes will... You'll figure out how to make cutscenes eventually. Yeah. And I'm just going to use freaking... Elixir to fully heal up. 
Wow, first time I've seen an elixir get used. Well, Jacob, I'm sure you've seen elixirs. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we used them in the last game. Oh, I have. It's just that I haven't even used it that often. Yeah. Basically, I use the elixirs as an emergency option just to make sure I'm safe. So just as no, we have, just as we have to route the enemy. Yeah, we do have to route the enemy. It'll take a while, but I'm sure it won't be that. I'm sure the stream has been that long, hasn't it? Uh, forty-seven minutes. Yeah, that's what I thought. So we could most likely get two chapters done. Yeah, hopefully. I'm sure you're not that tired right now. I mean, I'm not, of course I'm not tired. I woke up like three hours ago. Four hours ago, actually. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> That's a good level up. No stats maxed out yet, though. Yeah, I know. But she will eventually, however. There are so many stats that I really want to max out. <laughs> I was thinking, I, I might have told you this already, but I was thinking I should, I should put Dev Dan in the Fire Emblem hack. <laughs> yeah, you probably did told me about that, but Dev, Dev Dan would be funny. <laughs> yeah, he would be. <laughs> oh my god, you have so many insane ideas that I like hearing. Yep. And I also told you I was going to put Sakuya in the game and make her um a, like, a, like a thief character. Because she uses knives. Yeah. Or no. I mean, oh yeah, she, she was gonna be like a knife thrower, I think. When are you gonna add Marissa? Mm, oh yeah, that's a good. That's a good point. I could put Marissa and make her a light user. Just make her into a mage, then a sage. Okay. Make her a light mage. Yeah, make her a light mage. But why light specifically? Because, uh, Marissa uses light magic in Toho. Oh, that makes sense. Because Master Spark is like a giant beam of light. Yeah, so? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. that's a lucky miss. Uh, what's another, what's another funny character I could put in the game? Um, uh, I could put Cody in it. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Cody. Yeah, Cody could be like, um, he could be like a lightning mage or something. Yeah, he could. <laughs> the second hit always works. They're just going to jump on Marcia. Oh well. Damn, poor I Marcia. Like to live. It's always the second hit that lands. Dink. And she doesn't even get strength. <laughs> what if I put the real Captain Falcon in the game? Oh, that sounds like a good idea. You could probably make. You know what? I should. I, mean, I should. I should make him a um a horse rider, and the ho his horse will be the Blue Falcon. <laughs> okay, that sounds like a funny idea. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that's gonna work, but I could always figure it out. Yeah, you could just probably figure out the freaking te the freaking sprites and stuff. Yeah. Oh shit, she's she's gonna get hit again. Oh shit. Slow ass yep. golden knight. But you're gonna be dead anyway. Yeah, because Ileana keeps dancing on you. Imagine if Ileana dances on you. <laughs> she just did. And she's not even getting that much good level ups. Sadly. I like how I wrote in my shopping list that I would buy ice cream today, but I ended up buying butter tarts instead. <laughs> oh <my laughs> Ilya is angry, so she got a crit. She got two crits, that's how angry she is. Yeah, she is that angry. Wait, no, that, isn't that just the, the animation for Thoron, though? <laughs> yeah, it's Thoron. <laughs> I don't know why, but it looks like a crit animation. Alright, well, you gotta heal Ileana now. 
Where's Laura when you need her? A lot. You gonna have Laura heal up mid Kaya? Hmm. No. No? You want mid Kaya to die? Maybe. <laughs> Oh yeah, um, so I, I saw so every now and then I like to watch those, um, Fire Emblem Engage compilation videos of just, like, all of them, um, of, like, a support unit or something. And so I watched a video of all of the Makaya supports for the, for the Emblem Ring. <laughs> yeah, so? Yeah, and after that, after that video, I'm thinking, like, damn, Makaya's kind of a mommy, isn't she? <laughs> Well, I mean, she she is a branded because she lives longer than anybody else in Radiant Dawn. Mm hmm So, yeah, she literally has the blood of the Lagoos, which does make sense. Seb asks if I like purple coin missions. <laughs> you probably don't even like purple coin missions. I like some of them. I like the I like some of the time based ones. Cause Imagine, you know, hey, Jacob, it, what? Imagine if you make a chapter where everybody, where you just have to use flying units. Mm, yeah, I could try that. Yeah, want it to be similar to what happens in a specific chapter in Radiant Dawn. Maybe I can make like uh, maybe I can watch some. FE Builder tutorial videos or something. Yeah, there exist tutorial videos about that. I mean, mostly I I just have to learn like the coding side of it. Cause it's I because usually... I'm still really bad at coding. <laughs> Wait a minute, she actually uses Rex Bolt right now. She oh. uh, she she maxed out Thunder. Re Oh, Jacob, I want to see what it does. <laughs> but I'm not going to use Rex Bolt just yet. I'm just going to save it. And why'd you equip it? Because I want to see the animation of it. Oh, okay, fair enough. Let's see what kind of ludicrous damage it does. It's Cymbeline again. Hey, it's a useful tome. <laughs> it's so powerful, it just breaks the background and turns it into a fiery hell. That's what it meant. That's literally what it's meant to be. Da -da -da. The good news is that we are getting close to finishing the chapter. I mean, you typically aren't prologue chapters not that long anyway. Yeah, but this one is an exception. This one just feels like chapter one, but they had to call it prologue to fit in with the rest of the game. Well, no dir. Uh, it's like, honestly, it's really nice hearing um the devoted or whatever it's called. Yeah, the devoted. That's what it's called. It's really nice hearing that. We literally have some. We literally have a battle theme that's that's unique. According, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think I might have gotten spoiled on this, but I believe each of the um, the kings have their own battle theme. Like, I th like I'm pretty sure Captain Falcon has his own battle theme. I think the Lion King has his own battle theme. Probably. Which is kind of cool. Everybody having their own battle themes. I like the sound of that. Yeah, which is why I was saying how I think it'd be pretty cool if in, like, modern FE, I think it'd be pretty cool if, like, special units got a special battle theme. Like, um, I don't know, a good example, maybe? Like, hmm, what's a really important unit in Fire Emblem Engage besides Coketon? <laughs> Coketon's, like, the only one I can think of, but imagine if she had, like, her own battle theme when she's fighting. <laughs> That'd be really cool. Yeah, I'd really like that. Same. 
And now it's then again, I find the I find the music in um, Engage kind of forgettable. The only songs I really remember are the you know the Kokchan dancing song, which I just meme the crap out of. Um, the Somnial theme is iconic, and um, that's about it. <laughs> Those are the only songs I really remember. And I guess the final chapter theme that I kind of remember too. But other than that, I find Engage's soundtrack like extremely forgettable. Yeah, no. yeah. I mean, I never even remember what what music what music it is in freaking engage. I I literally can't remember most of them. Typically, when um, typically when games try to go for a more like live action movie kind of sounding feel to it, it tends to come off as very forgettable <laughs> and boring. Yeah. A good example is uh, Metal Gear Solid 5. Metal Gear Solid 5 has an extremely forgettable soundtrack. The only songs that are actually memorable are like, you know, the ones that are mostly used to advertise the game. You know, like, Here's to You and Sins Here's of the Father. <laughs> Those are like the only memorable songs. <laughs> yeah, these are literally the songs that most people would remember. Meanwhile, on the other, on the other hand, we have Metal Gear Solid 4, and that soundtrack... I, I listen to that shit all the time. That shit's good. Metal Gear Solid 4 is a great soundtrack. Yeah, MGS4. Like I love all, I, I love I love all the alert themes. Um some of the uh like exp like sneaking music is good. Like um I really love um what's it? I really love the theme that plays in the third act when you're sneaking around like Europe. That song yeah, is really man. damn good. I could go on about that, but yeah. I know. Oh, I know. Anyways, I a... anyways, I found I found a copy of Metal Gear Solid 4, and maybe I'll actually give it a try on um, you know, my PS3 emulator. I want to see how it runs. Oh, I really hope it runs well. Otherwise, if it doesn't, then I would be really sad. I mean, it's not going to run perfectly. I know that, but I want to I just want to see how if it'll run good or not. It will. Eventually. I mean, that's the thing, because Neptunia doesn't run it that great. <laughs> like, that game... That game... is really demanding on my GPU for no reason. And that game, like, looks like ass. <laughs> is the game really that bad? No, it's good. I, I just... I'm just saying, like, Neptunia... It looks like it could be a PS2 game, and yet it it's very demanding on the PS3 emulator. It would have been on the PS3 if we're going to be quite on. I mean, it would have been on the PS2 if we're going to be quite honest. Yeah. It's kind of weird because Neptunia kind of came out late in the PS3's life cycle. Because it came out in 2010. That was four years after the PS3 was already out. And then, like, three years later, the, PS5, uh, the PS4 came out. Yeah, and you have no idea how huge the PS4 launch was. I mean, I'm sure you have an idea how huge the PS4 was when it came out. No, honestly, I don't. I don't remember what the PS4 launch was like, because I was a Wii U kid. I was as well, but at the same time, I did get... I did get a freaking PS4. I mean, I still, ha I still have my PS4. I think that PS4 is like 10 years old now. It's about as old as my Wii U, I think. Actually, no. No, I think I got we got this PS4 a bit later, but still pretty old. I've at least had it since Persona 5 Royal. Oh my god! <laughs> Damn. Uh, talk about dramatic. Yeah, you want to see it again? Want to see me do it again? All right, that's that's Rex Bolt. Yeah, that amount of damage is insane. Oh man, I'm, I'm amazed Ileana is able to do that without recoil. <laughs> and she got a good level up after that. Great. <laughs> she... Okay, plus three. Plus skill. three skill. Oh, uh, you know what song I? You know what song I kind of miss? What? I kind of miss um. That one song that played at the very end of chapter one, the chapter one boss theme, or not, not yeah. chapter one, uh, the the section one and, and section two boss theme. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I forgot what it was called. 
Eh, same. Oh yeah, I do know what you're talking about. It's just that I have to find it. I know you sent it to me. I just forgot what it was called. <laughs> now I'm looking at my DM and I see the fucking saucy... The saucy Alice, Junko, and Bird Lady pics that you sent me. Yeah. Which I'm sure you're happy about. What if I just search for Radiant? Uh, oh, 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 Stalking Menace. Yeah, Stalking Menace. There we go. That song go. That song goes hard. I love that song. I might put it. I, I might put it in trash. Honestly, if I remember. Honestly, I, I would recommend you adding the freaking final boss theme in Radiant Dawn, which I'm sure you haven't heard of, heard just yet. Nope. <laughs> haven't but heard that yet. I just hope you'll enjoy it. I really hope you do. I mean, I loved the Ashnard battle theme, so I'll probably love it. Yeah, hopefully you do. Holy shit, he has a brave weapon. Okay, well, he had, he Holy does have a brave shit. weapon. Well, he does have a brave weapon, so that's expected. Oh, he sure isn't brave, I can tell you that. D and he summoned five more goons. You gotta, you gotta take him out as soon as possible. I can't, because I have to route the enemy. What do you mean? What does route the enemy even mean? <laughs> I have to kill everybody. Oh. That's what route yeah. means. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Uh, let's see. Route definition. A defeat attended with disorderly flight. Dispersal of a defeated force in a complete disorder. To defeat an enemy completely and force them to run away. That that one sounds the most accurate, actually. Pretty much, yeah. So we're basically kicking the enemy out of the te their territory. That's why these chapters take so long. I prefer Siege chapters, they're over a lot quicker. <laughs> eh, they can be. 69! Oh shit, Tanith no. doesn't even have any weapons. Oh rip. She's gonna have to go hand to hand, mano a mano. Or I could just do this. Oh yeah, trade her a, a lance. Yeah, I'll that's, trade her in one of my spears. That's smart. I guess you might have to go and buy some more lances at the shop then. Yeah, but it'll take a while. Well, thanks Elijah for telling me to patch the Bersar, because now the Devoted can play non-stop. <laughs> and now, it's Nutella's job. Hooray! <laughs> he gets there. Well, that's one bow unit that I have to be less worried about. I'm gay. Wrong sound. <laughs> I'm, a I'm a bird. Up. <laughs> bird up. Yeah. I'm a bird. Dun 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 Honestly, Jacob, I think you would be the type of person to watch the Eric Andre show. <laughs> the Eric Andre show. That's probably, literally what probably. it's called. It has, a lot, it has a lot of skits, and, uh, freaking... And it has... And it literally par parodies a top show. Freaking show. I mean, Eric, Eric Andre's food me, so... I take it. There's a lot of seasons of... Of freaking Eric Andre. I think he's like in his seventh season or something. Damn, bro, that's almost as many seasons as Seinfeld. Yeah, you could say that. But not all the episodes are really long. Hmm. I have to figure out where would be a good place to watch them. Also, oh, your, bir your bird's dead. <laughs> Rep your bird. Well, back to turn nine. Sad. Well... At least I'll move most of my units. Just for preparations, unless he summons his freaking goons. 
He's gonna be gooning. Yeah, he's such a fucking goon that he just killed my Lian. No, not your bird. bird up. Yeah, my adorable bird. <laughs> yeah, the cute bird. Kawaii bird. <laughs> the, literally the most wholesome bird you could ever see. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, Bird Lady is kind of the opposite of wholesome. <laughs> no, I mean this one. I know. But why the opposite? Because uh, Bird Lady wants to like nuke everything. She's literally you know, like not... she's she's literally like the opposite of so, um, you, wholesome. You know I'm not talking about. You know I'm not talking about her, right? I know. I'm just comparing. Like like you know this bird. She's very wholesome. She's very nice. She gives you extra turns, and then you yeah. compare her to Bird Lady, and yeah, Bird, Lady, Bird, Bird Lady Bird Lady Bird Lady just wants to nuke everything. I literally call her Nuke Bird. Nuke Bird. Bird nuke. <laughs> Well, at least I have a freaking opportunity to know what's gonna happen. Too bad you won't get to hear Nutella's battle theme much. It's over in yeah. like 10 seconds. Yeah, I know. You'll probably find this on YouTube. I guess later. that's what the sound test is for. Hey, at least everybody loves sound tests. Hmm. I guess Eliana's not gonna be able to take this guy on. You are the Dark God made flesh, the source of all evil. Don't speak that way about Yune. She's not a Dark God. Well, at least she can rack up damage. Oh, Jacob, I think I know what this soundtrack is. Mm. Or am I mistaken for the other one? I guess I'll have to listen to it more. Thoron! Die, die! Monster. <laughs> you don't belong in this world. Yeah, death by Thoron. <laughs> you just got killed by Robins. Be neutral, bro. Think. Okay, that was kind of trash. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just don't like that kind of level up. Maybe? Maybe she could... ...kill. Hey, I think Laura deserves it. Think. Well, at least she maxes out <laughs> speed. How could this have happened? How could the treasures of the goddess's world defeat her and point the champions? Yep, she maxes out freaking freaking speed. speed and skill. Well, Jacob, this chapter will be over. <laughs> All right, now impale them, Nephany. <laughs> Alright, here comes the lion. The lion king. Well, not really the lion king. The lion, uh... The lion prince? Yeah, <laughs> that works. It doesn't really roll as well, though. Well, technically, this is Simba before he became the lion king. <laughs> okay, yeah, you... Okay, yeah, that makes a fair point. Simba in his younger years. You're not far off. <laughs> Thunder. Flare? Did she use this flare? <laughs> what is she, Sephiroth? Flare is basically like soul. Oh, so it's a soul. It's a um, soul stealing version of uh, that move. Yeah, it's basically the mage's soul. It's it's a mage's um HP drain. Yep, basically. Life steal, that's what I meant to say. Let's just hope she gets a good level up. Cause all she's been leveling up is nothing but res and skill. 
And if she doesn't, I'm going to be sad. Think. Magic and defense. Okay. <laughs> That's actually a good combo, I would say. Yeah, she even has more defense than mid slow Kaya. Yep. You got that right. Slow oh, yeah, slow mid Kaya. Who are we gonna <laughs> which unit are we gonna end the chapter to? Marcia. But wow, look at Marcia. She maxes out defense. <laughs> I never thought we would ever get a tanky uh, Pegasus Knight, or at least a Falcon Knight. Yeah, she deserves the experience anyway. She's like one level away from maxing out anyway. If only she was strong. Yeah, her strength's kind of doo-doo, but she's a speed queen, so we gotta give it to her. Okay, Oh, I have an idea. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like he just did a, um, a owl laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no! It's just like no! <laughs> I love, I love his no when he gets hit. He's like, oh! <laughs> I could, I could almost replicate Al's voice. <laughs> especially the laugh. Yeah. They are strong for Barak. Has the Senate held back as elite forces? No, I know, I knew a few of them by face. Some of them are so. Some of these soldiers were new recruits. I can't imagine how they have taught us how they fought against us so fiercely. Simple. They were protected by Ashera. Oh. I, I sent him. <clears throat> I sent a message to Micaiah about the impending attack, then returned here as fast as I could. Yo, baddie red eye Micaiah's back. They look kind of orange, really. Oh, it looks red to me. Color blindness, I guess? Maybe. Ashira freed the petrified soldiers who would pledge loyalty to her. By themselves, they weren't, they weren't a threat. To skin puppets as strong as you. The skin so puppets. She, so she blessed their armor and weapons. And now they are worthy to be her true disciples. And their power will be stronger as we get closer to her. The battle will only get more difficult from here. Their, their weapons are armored and blessed by the goddess herself. Is that similar to the Black Knight's armor or Ike's sword, Ragnar? It's the same idea, yes. The disciples' blessing were weak, were much weaker because there, there were a lot much more to them. Still, it makes them more powerful than they than they originally were. I'd like to bless you with protection too, but I haven't been awakened long enough to wield that kind of power. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, what about what about with Mila's Divine Protection, or whatever that song is called? <laughs> yeah, but that only happens earlier in the game of Valentia. Dang. Ah, that was how they were able to stand against us. Poor souls. They were turned into... They were turned back from stone. They probably thought... They were chosen. They were the chosen ones or something. It's a stone, Luigi. No one is good enough for her, though. When she's done using them, using against us, they'll all be stone creatures again. Micaiah, there you are. Oh, it's her shadow again. I should go. All right, everyone. I'll see you later. Good luck. Micaiah? Ah, uh, ah, uh, why? Hey, glad to have you back. We should tell the other teams what happened here. Hmm? I'm going back to sleep. I just like being awakened so early in the morning, even if there is for battle. Wow, that's, that sounds like you, Jose. <laughs> why? <laughs> you hate being woken up in the morning. Yeah, maybe. Yune was here again? I don't like that she keeps taking over your body. Should she stick? To being that stupid bird? 
Please don't say mean things about her. She's like an older sister to me. Your older sister is a dark god? I mean, that's pretty cool, honestly. I finally <laughs> understand now. Remember the voice that used to warn me about impending danger? Oh yeah? What makes you say that? I mean, we had we had a dark... I mean, kind of, kind of similar thing to Engage, you know? How you have your... You know, your little sister is like a dark, badass dragon god. Or probably a dark being in general. Yeah. The funny thing is that in Path of Radiance, we thought that the dark god was evil. But apparently, she's not. Yune is not meant to be evil, but the people who really want to harness her power just for evil things is just awful. Yeah. They just, they just want to, people just want to use, people like Ashenar just want to use the medallion just to get stronger. Strong getter. <laughs> strong. Like strong, Kronk. <laughs> strong like Kronk. That was Yune's voice. I finally realized it this morning. Even as she slept, he walked over us. Yune loves Barak and Laguz with all her heart. I can feel it when she speaks through me. Then why do people call her the Dark God? I don't know, but she doesn't like that name. It hurts so when you call her that. Sorry, I won't call her that again. You mean it? Oh. <laughs> you mean it? Then I forgive you. Hey, it's you, Yune? S Sorry, I won't call her that. Sorry, I won't call her that again. Why can't you be nice with me? To be honest, it makes me a little jealous, but that's alright, I guess. I know that Micaiah needs you. That's why I can't l that's why you can't let her die. Here, come closer to me. H hey, what are you doing? Don't be so jumpy. I'm giving you the power to protect Micaiah. Dang, I guess. Oh shit, he's gonna promote. I guess I guess Soth is uh he has to try and win the you know, love of two different women now. <laughs> no, Jacob, just no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. He's gonna be with Micaiah anyways, at the end of the game. Holy shit, he finally put some pants on. <laughs> and he's a whisper. Well, he's finally a whisper. Oh, it took like, him long enough. Now he, now he's almost as good as um Heather. Yeah, but she'll never, but he'll never be as good as Heather. And he changes his portrait. He put pants on. Good job. Oh, amazing! I feel incredible. Like I could wrestle with Gipper. Good. Always stay by Micaiah's side. Yune. No, it's me again. Disappointed. Never. I do wish she had at least let me thank her. It just would have embarrassed her. You know, you two are very much alike. You're both very stubborn. So they're similar in a way? <laughs> <laughs> wow, I never thought I'd see the day that Makai would compare South to Yune. <laughs> dot dot dot. I'm, ju just I'm just teething you, South. Anyway, did you hear what the enemy said before the battle? She's just disappointed, anyways. <laughs> yeah. They called out <laughs> Leakin by name. No you mistake. Mean, you mean Luobano? <laughs> yeah. L yeah, like Obano. That means he's alive and probably not petrified since they said he was their leader. I suppose we'll run across him once we get closer to the tower. That'll be our biggest chance. Right. We must break the Blood Pact, or the Slow Pact, no matter what it takes. Of course, our first goal is to save everyone from the Goddess's Judgment. But we have to break the Pact while they're all stone. If we don't, we may save the world, but still lose Dane. That's a risk we're gonna take. We may have missed our chance to speak with her. What a remarkable girl. Lady Micaiah can hear the voice of the Goddess Yune and learn of impending danger. She's much like you, Emperor Empress Sanaki. Let us head back. 
Are you sure? You said before that it was imperative you speak with Lady Micaiah. It's not important. Forget it. Empress. Sonaki only says that because it's possible that that might be related. I mean, to be honest, she, she looks more like uh, Soren's little sister, honestly. Really, no? Yeah, they have, like, the same face. Bike's route leads his group to the west. Hey, it's Bike! Accompanied by his old comrades, Deputy Commander Titania and Master Tech. Well, Jacob, you might be... You will be surprised that... That Sonaki and Mikaya are actually related to each other. Honestly, I don't believe that. It sounds a little weird. <laughs> What well, makes you say that? They don't seem related at all. <laughs> well, you'd be surprised in the description. Bike and company. We got it. Well, we, Jacob, we're with Bikes Company. That now it's called the Grail's Army. Road to the Empire. The Grail Army. Yeah, it's literally called the Grail Army. <clears throat> Amazing. We've been trying. Oh, yeah. It's. It <laughs> Sorry, Jacob. Amazing. You... We've been traveling for miles now. And there hasn't been a single moving person. And yet, other plants and animals seem completely unaffected. The only creatures turned into stone were Lagoose and Barok. A miracle of the goddess indeed. My sister sent a warning about some disciple of order. Ashira has freed them from stone, a fighter. Kawabunga! She also blessed their weapons and armor. They'll only get stronger as we approach to the tower. They nearly beat Leanne's team. Worse. They can attack at any moment and we have no idea who or where they are. I'll start working with contingency plans. Alright, we'll break here. Everyone be sure to keep your weapons, supplies, and reach tonight. Bro's gonna sleep with his sword. <laughs> well, we made it straight to the point. Alright, I'm gonna go get a drink then. And I got a holy crown! Whatever that is. I don't know, but I'm gonna go... Oh, and Rex Caliber! Rex Caliber! Cool. Okay, that's, well, I'm gonna get... Jacob, that's actually, that's actually the strongest tome. One of the strongest wind tome in the game. Well, you better get Kraken and up, upgrade Soren. Otherwise, he won't be able to use that. Oh, I know. <laughs> but I'm gonna go They'll get my juice, and I'll be back. I'll be right back as well. Okay, let's pause then. Even though it's not much. I, I have leveled up I mean, Ike. I don't really mind if you level up the units off screen. It's not really that important. Yeah. I at least level up Ike. He got friggin' strength and defense. Hmm, that's good. Yeah, that's something that we'll work on. And I just hope that he works on speed as well. He's got 34 defense. And look who joined in. Oh wow, the funny wolf queen. Yep, the wolf queen, who's actually going to be very useful. Probably more useful than Volug. Yeah. She's going to replace Volug. <laughs> so what did the holy crown do? Oh, I wish I could get the Worm Slayer. Okay, let's see what the Holy Crown does. For Mist only? Good. So you can just upgrade her right now, then? Yeah. Yeah, oh, I can do that. Wow, so she's gonna get a class change. Is she going to become a Valkyrie again? Yep. Called it. Yep. It's too bad her swords still suck. Well, actually, no, she has the wind swords. Isn't that, like, technically good? It says it's a magic blade. Yeah, so technically that would actually make her good, right? I could. But the thing is, is that I can't even make Mist be good why not well she is in a long way to level up 
Mm. All right. You see the issue? I'm just gonna give the Rex Caliper to Soren how until he. How, how much more does he need before he maxes out Wind? He's at S rank right now. Oh, he he's, a, he's he hasn't leveled it up at all yet. Well, shit. He is gonna he is gonna level up soon. I'm sure of it. Or better yet, I actually have an idea since I don't think he needs more stats to be maxed out. I could give him the Master Crown right now. Since... What the hell, I'll go figure. So now Soren's gonna promote as well. Dang. He's in Arc Stage as well. Nice. And he, so now he's wearing white for some reason. <laughs> well, he's in a long way to max out wind. I guess that is one way to get him to max out wind is by promoting him sooner. Ooh, arc wind. Arc wind. I'll give him that. And yet I'm limited to more items again. Dang. But hey, at least I'll have an easier time with the Grail Mercenaries. Alright, Jacob. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yep, I knew it. <laughs> oh no. Fire. Dark... And uh, how's Prince Kirknaga feeling? Not good. He keeps staring into space. He won't say anything. And he hasn't touched a bite of his food. Sorry to hear that. I wanted to ask him some questions, but it can wait. Like, we're under attack. They've already surrounded us. What? That's impossible! How could they get this close without us seeing them? I don't know. There was no sign or scent of their approach. I wonder if it's simply materialized. And I stay here. Protect Kurthnaga's tent at all costs. Understood. Everyone, watch the perimeter. There are a lot of them, but just focus on one enemy at a time. Okay. Is this a defense chapter then? <laughs> I guess. I could literally bring almost everybody. <laughs> Except Volug. But if, yep. he, if he's getting replaced, then it's not a big deal. Yeah, it's not really that much of a big deal anyways. We just have so many good units. I I'm not even joking. We literally have this many good units to bring along. Well, except oh. for Rolf. <laughs> you, you can leave him out. <laughs> well, hey. At least I can use Volg again. Sure. I mean, speaking of Rolf, everybody knows that, you know, the Anger Video Game Nerd uploaded a new video last night on, yeah, fucking, Glover, on fucking Glover of all games. And honestly, I, um, I remember that game being a lot better than it actually is. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> he got ether. Yeah, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> That's okay. Oops. Anyways, I guess um, we're back. I guess we're back to the devoted. We are. We were always were with the devoted. What do you mean? <laughs> huh. Did actually, you even change? Well, actually, Did no. You... Well, no, because wasn't it like that one song? Um, those other few chapters at the end of part three. Yeah. Yeah. Did you what? even wait a minute? Did you change the music again? I didn't change that song. That song is good. Okay. Well, hey, at least we have a reason to keep this music. Yep. And, uh, again, getting credits as usual. That one was unnecessary, though. It was unnecessary. Well, Jacob, we are gonna keep Shinnin regardless. Yeah, it's good. He's actually a... It's good to actually use him and not have him die. Yep. Well, at least he, he has a good amount of strength. And he crits like half a damn time. 
Damn. More reason to keep snipers. Damn, Soren's actually doubling for once. <laughs> yeah, I think Soren in this game is actually going to be a lot better. Oh, it's another Route the Enemy chapter. Yep. I hope it doesn't take that long. It probably will. Ike, let's fight back to back, guarding each other through battle. Sure, let's stick together. There's power in numbers. Only Enna was good. But unfortunately, <laughs> she stinks. This guy stinks. This chapter also looks like it stinks. But you know what doesn't stink? What? <laughs> you know. <laughs> Something like that. That doesn't stink. Yeah, it doesn't stink. Like I was just called, it's called Savage because she's savage. <laughs> oh, she is. Even though freaking Nyla is gonna level is gonna level up slowly, but she doesn't even need to level up. Yeah, not really. She, yeah, she she is literally this strong. <laughs> I'm yeah. not joking. She's she's actually one of the strongest lagoos to ever have. Yo, you know what else doesn't stink? <laughs> what? Joan's good ass barbecue and foot massage. <laughs> yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> well, I love how, I love how Ven and Snake can just fly over the walls and then just say "fuck you." They really got stunned. <laughs> yeah, that's that same as about right. Well, uh, there's a small chance I may put in the Shadows of Valentia level up sound before the finale. <laughs> I really hope so, Jacob. Since I know you didn't find it, but it'll be okay. No, I say I just didn't even bother. But I, I, I want to try after this stream. Ah, uh, okay. Cause uh, looking through Brassars, it takes a little while. Considering Brassars are filled with like thousands of sound files. <laughs> So, finding it, it's not going to be easy. Find what? Finding the uh, specific audio for the level up sound. Because it's but not I'm... it's not in the it's not in the stream files, it's in the Brassar itself. Oh, okay. But I do know the freaking where to find the music. However, that's the easy part. Yeah, cuz I was able to find the music, but I the, the level up sound is not in the in the streaming section. It, Oh, that stinks. It's kind of like how in Mario Kart Wii, the title screen music is not in the stream. It's not in the stream folder. It's in the Brassar itself. Oh, okay, okay. And also another fun fact about um, Mario Kart Wii. Mario Kart Wii, like ninety not like ninety nine percent of the songs in Mario Kart Wii are actual like music files that were composed. However, there are, I believe, one or two songs in Mario Kart Wii that are actually sequenced and not streamed. Oh, okay. Now, for anybody, you who know, for, for anybody who doesn't know what that means, a streamed music is music that plays straight from an MP3 or a OGG or an NUS3 Audio or any kind of music file like that. But a sequenced music is a song that is played in real time with instruments that are in the game's files. All of this just makes too much sense. Yeah. So Mario Kart Wii uses a couple of, of sequenced music. One of one example of sequenced music is the online uh, lobby music. The lobby music is a sequence, not a stream. Oh, okay. Which means it's made up of like 20 or so different instruments. They're all playing in real time. I can imagine that it is real time. Yeah. Well, because <laughs> there's another crit. Well, for yep. example, all music on the NES and Super Nintendo are sequenced music, not streams. We didn't get streamed music until the PS1. Isn't, be isn't that because the PS1 is just more powerful? I'm, I'm sure it's one of the reasons. 
And another reason is because since the PS1 is able to store so much data, they're able to fit streamed music on there. Considering one of the streamed music well, takes up a lot of data. <laughs> well, it's one of the reasons why the PS1 was the, one of the most successful consoles of all time. Yep. Because when you, when you when you look at um when you look at games, it's yeah. a there's a good chance there's a good chance that one third of the game's disc is literally just audio. <laughs> That's how it if is for play, most games. If you play a PS if you play a PS one disc on a freaking a freaking disc player, it would literally just play the music instead of the game. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But you know, you want to know what's also cooler than the PS1? What? The PS2 can literally do all that, plus it can play movies. I use my PS2 for playing shows. I, wa I watched the adventures of Super Mario Bros. 3 on my PS2. <laughs> Kind of ironic, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, because I had um I had the full DVD set of Mario Three, and I watched all of that on my PS2. That's actually really cool, if I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, that was CJ, the only one. That was the only Ike, one I owned, though. CJ, even Ike can level up speed. Good job, bike. Yeah, it's it's really weird that I owned a a physical DVD set of Mario Three, but not the Super Show or Mario World. Kind of weird. Yeah, but hey. At least Mario World and the Super Mario Bros. Super Show is a good is a good show. Yeah, I love. I, I need that. That's the one I haven't rewatched in the longest time. I have not seen the Mario Three show in a long time. You should probably rewatch it. I mean, honestly, I should just rewatch all of them. We should rewatch Super Show, Mario Three, and Mario World. Good idea. Especially because Mario World is the shortest out of all of them. You want to hear something ironic, Jacob? What? Both Ike and. Micaiah literally have the same speed growth. Oh, damn. But Ike can literally get speed easily. <laughs> as we have saw. Kind of ironic considering he's wielding that big-ass sword. Well, duh. <laughs> he gets a crit again! <laughs> Jacob, the crit, I the am crits never gonna... end. You know, Jacob, I'm actually gonna bring along Shinnin <laughs> for the ride. You're gonna bring him to the end game? Yeah. Also, he just barely killed that guy with that crit, by the way. <laughs> oh, I know. But still, he can literally crit as much as he wants. <laughs> wow, 22. Oh, and there's Soul. She really doesn't need soul. She does not need a soul, but she do she does it anyways. Cause Titania yeah. makes up rules as she goes. But hey, at least Titania Titania's mommy material. Yep. Yes, sir. And I have to heal Love Venom Snake. Cause he's running low. That uh, friggin' HP. Well, at least he's safe for now. <laughs> I mean, sure, I've I hate dark. I really hate the freaking dark chapters, but at least we have strong units who can handle any enemies. Oh, <laughs> like, she's, like her, she, she's savage again. Like Nyla using savage. It's literally like freaking Astra. <laughs> I was trying to see if I could find any good gaming news, but there doesn't seem to be any. Oh, that's unfortunate. If only we did have more good gaming news. I mean, at the very least, it's nothing interesting. Like, oh, the Mario and Yoshi Lego. <laughs> the <laughs> Mario and Yoshi. You know there exists a Lego Yoshi. Yeah. It's probably cursed, though. It is. It is just as cursed as Mario and Luigi not having eyes. <laughs> yeah, Seb keeps joking about that. He keeps showing me the fucking Lego Mario with his eyes closed. <laughs> well, Jacob, even though I have my Lego Mario, I don't even show it off.
But hey. At least... At least I don't freaking show you Lego Mario that much. I haven't even shown you my Lego Mario in years. Yeah, I forgot all about it. Yeah. I, I was never really big on Lego Mario anyways. I think it looks dumb. It does. But you want to know what's worse? What? There's going to be a new set of Zel Zelda Legos. There's going to be Zelda Legos? What the fuck? No, I'm not even joking. There actually exists... Uh, freaking Zelda Legos. Sounds dumb. But you want to know what's even dumber? What? They are actually expensive AF. More expensive than any Mario sets you can think of. Well, I don't they're like the sound of that. Those, they're basically one of those special kinds of Legos where... where you have to build something that looks impressive and simulate of what it looks like to... Basically... Basically, there are these types of Legos that would look like the freaking spaceship, the pyramids, mm -hmm. and, you know, all that shit. It's one of those Legos. The 1,000-piece Lego Millennium Falcon. Yep. Like that. No wonder it's so damn expensive. <sighs> We're at this point that, that Legos are going to promote, you know, world stuff. You're gonna attack I titanium like that? Boo. Well, well, guess what? You missed. 25% hit rate. <laughs> Pretty mid. 0% hit gonna, rate, even more mid. You're gonna attack Heather like that? She's the death queen! You can't kill her. You can't kill me, Jack. <laughs> They're just gonna attack her! <laughs> they, knowing they're, that they're, they like, they're like, no, 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 run that back. <laughs> they don't have a chance to kill Heather. I mean, look at her stats. I literally maxed out all of her stats. Would have been funny if a third guy came in to fight Heather. <laughs> they are not gonna kill the Death Queen. Poke. Oh, here comes a third guy after how all. Many times <laughs> are you gonna, how many times are you gonna attack? <laughs> you know what, Jacob? I'm gonna laugh if she's gonna get Bane. <laughs> Whoop! She got a crit, <laughs> though. <laughs> you got a critical. I mean, it's basically the same thing. Yeet. Yeah, true. But still, what oh, chance do they have to guy. Here kill comes a fourth the guy. Friggin'? Well, at least they're not gonna get the Death Queen. They're still gonna die, though. Yeah, I mean, look at Titania. She is close to maxing out all of her stats. She just did, like, a double hit with her axe. You know what, Jacob? She is capable of getting the Irvin. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna give it- give that to her because it's part of the Ike family. <laughs> the Ike family. Yep, is that, that going to be the title? <laughs> you know what? That most likely will be. <laughs> the Ike family. Instead of the yep, instead so of the Adams family, we have the Ike family. <laughs> yep. That's what it's all about. Oh shit! What just happened? Someone's like transforming robots over there. Wait, so there's also this is also a darkness chapter. Yeah, that's what I'm literally trying to say. Pretty mid, honestly. <laughs> and soul, <laughs> just for good measure. That's an unnecessary soul. Wow. No. no pretty mid level up, honestly. And what her silver axe broke. What happens if I friggin' get a? What happens if I go back to low to save? I don't know, man. I wouldn't risk it. <laughs> I'm gonna risk it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wasn't that far back. But yeah, this is... But yeah, I'm not gonna give that level up to freaking Titania. Sorry. 
I can be pretty picky with level ups. I can tell. <laughs> Why can't you get ether? Hey, come on, bike. Well, at least he's getting good level ups. Better than slow Kaya, at least. Yeah. He'll, he'll just level up speed eventually. Oh, look at all those daggers that Heather does not need. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna give her the knife. Give her the boot, too, while you're at it. You know, maybe I might as well do that. Ah, oh, yes, the Funi crossbow. That's really powerful. It really is that strong. Anything good on Reddit? Because there has not been a lot of, um... There's not, there's not a lot of good things on Reddit. A lot of bad things? Yeah. Oh, well, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> Someone misspelled the word sexiest, and they accidentally wrote sexist. <laughs> It's sexist. <laughs> so someone someone tried to say sexiest professor, and then it ended up becoming sexist professor. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. Sexist professor. That should be a new name. That's a good title. If you, if you try to say sexiest. Yep. That's funny. Funny bunny. Yes, Funi Boonie. <laughs> Come on, Titania, give me a good level up. Nope. My disappointment my disappointment has been immeasurable. <laughs> I have immeasurable disappointments. <laughs> and my day is ruined. Your day was ruined because you invented burgers. Well, at least we can hear her howl. I might have an idea of what I'm about to do. You're gonna walk slowly and stab that knight. No. Pump. You'll see in a minute. We've we'll got a good time for a crit, Gatry. I know this is a bit risky, but I'm going to do this anyways. Bird. Bird up. Bird up. See? This is a good idea. <laughs> She's going to keep freaking howling. <laughs> He's in danger. Well, I have another idea. <laughs> another one. I'm just gonna use the freaking Brave Axe. Yeah, because it's very brave of you to do that. Or stupid, really. <laughs> Ten lessons other anime can learn from Sailor Moon. Oh, all this Sailor Moon stuff's just been getting in my feed now after I watched all this Sailor Moon recently. <laughs> How do you like Sailor Moon? That's the funny part, is like, I watch like one and a half seasons of Sailor Moon almost, and now I just get like a, a one Sailor Moon recommendation per week. <laughs> it's pretty great. Well, Jacob, it's like, like they always say, you can't get enough of anything that you enjoy. Can't like get... in this case, Sailor Moon. Yeah, I got enough of that sugar crisp. Why well, call it Sugar Crisp? <laughs> isn't that isn't that a song? No. Uh, I thought there was a song about Sugar Crisp. <laughs> and look at Ike, he just one shot at a mage. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, bike. He literally fucking one shot at a mage. 
He's gonna attack you, you know. <laughs> he keeps getting crits over and over <laughs> again. That was a 15% crit. I know. He's been getting crits every day. Oh yeah, you know what? This 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 uh Oh Great Eta Even though he got three percent <laughs> He only got three health. Three health. I think. Well, it's likely that he maxed out defense. Now I got an extra bit of health. Oh, here comes a wing guy. A Pegasus. Yep, wing I'm gonna call it wing guy. <laughs> Aw, oh, she didn't get Bane. Dang, she didn't kill. Oh, here goes another wing guy. Whoop! So you're gonna get Bane, I can assure you that. Yeah, yes. there we go. <laughs> another Bane. <laughs> Think. Never underestimate the Death Queen. Nothing. <laughs> I literally max out all of her stats. What do you expect? <laughs> it's just funny. You see, like, her get a level up, and it's just like, oh, nothing. Alright, for that, you get Bane. <laughs> yep. For that 11% hit rate, you get Bane. Well, I just realized his stats are 911. <laughs> and you figured that out just now? Yep. Yes, sir. But yeah, this this uh this this article makes a pretty good point that uh, it says the characters should have more outfits because that's a, that's one thing about Sailor Moon is um you know the characters have like casual outfits depending on like you know if it's their day off and whatnot and like what season it is. Also, a uh, hello chat member, I didn't see you there, but this is uh Jose's playing on normal difficulty, I believe. Yeah, it is. And I think he's doing, like... Are you doing hard or merciless on your other save file? I'm doing hard mode. Okay. <laughs> that's your that's your New Game Plus playthrough, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it actually is a New Game Plus playthrough. This is the uh, casual playthrough. <laughs> yep. But like I said, Radiant Dawn itself is really tough. It's generally one of the hardest games to play through, even on normal mode. Man, at least it's not as brain dead as Path of Radiance was. Yeah. I mean, hey, people love that game. Especially not as brain dead as Engage. Ooh, got him. <laughs> but hey, at least people like Path of Radiance, since it's actually a good game. I mean, I liked Path of Radiance, I just didn't like how damn slow it was. <laughs> Would you even consider it good brain rot? Yeah, I'd say so. It's, I don't even think it's brain rot. I think it's just, you know, it's good. At least battle-wise. Yeah. Well. But I mean, hey, start, like starting with Radiant Dawn is not a bad way to go about things. But in context, it wouldn't make sense. Because you would get confused on the, the friggin' events that you just don't even know from... From the game. Just saying. Oh yes, good old uh good old Hino Ray and her funny pink overalls. <laughs> like fucking Mario. Yep, Mario. You know what to do. Mario <laughs> Is that the one I should have played? Yep. Yeah, Sailor Moon does do good a good job with the mascot characters. You know, having two uh two friendly little kitties to support the the Shoji Senshi. <laughs> well, I just hope that they are not that annoying. Mm, I mean, they're at least more tolerable than Morgana. <laughs> oh, got him. <laughs> got him. Oh, I only have 10 uses of the Brave Axe. Well, that's not good. <laughs> I 
discussing real life issues such as body image. Oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot there was there was an there was an entire episode of Sailor Moon where she was worried about gaining weight. <laughs> That's apparently an episode that they didn't release in the West because, you know, body shaming women is not okay in the West. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it's not even yeah, body shaming is may not be may not be okay in the West, but you could also say that it that even when you are proud of what you are, uh the problem is your health. Your health is going to be also a problem as well. Yeah, so they had an entire episode just focused on that. And then there was like, um... Pretty sure there was like a fitness instructor that turned into like a demon or something. Yeah, that's typical ty typical Sailor Moon stuff, really. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Hey, Jacob, look at Ike's first... Uh... <laughs> he's got 37 defense, he's never gonna die. Yeah. He's like Cobra but Kai, the... dude. But the ones that I have to focus on Ike right now is that he has to focus on speed and strength. Mm-hmm. <sighs> but don't worry, Jacob. We are gonna finish this chapter very soon. Yeah, Sailor Moon. The, Sailor Moon also does a pretty good job of showing how powerful, you know, women can be in battle. <laughs> exactly. That's another, that's another thing I like about it. I just like the moralities that that shows like Sailor Moon just give out to the public. But hey, it's just me. I just like morality. Yep, you gotta, you gotta increase your morale. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to mention before I forget. Just look at Heather's stats. God damn. <laughs> All maxed out. Well, if you get her to level 20, then she'll be actually maxed out. Oh, I have a better idea. <laughs> Let's just hope he crits. Getting, getting his crits again. Yep. There he no, is. <laughs> he got... Never mind. <laughs> he got dead eye. Okay, that's a that's at least a makeup for his... For not critting. So if he, not, if he doesn't crit, he gets dead eye instead. That's pretty funny. Oh, and rip the killer bow. Well, hey. At least... At least he got Deadeye, because we, we haven't seen Deadeye that much. Well, it looks like Mist is going to rescue... ...somebody. <laughs> if only I had Physic, then maybe I... Then maybe that would be helpful. Sailor Moon reminds anime fans that things don't have to be so gloomy all the time. Yeah, you know, there, there's those animes that are like just like serious 100% of the time. <laughs> I mean, what's wrong with that? Mm, I like I like it when games or anime, like they're they're serious half the time, but then like the other half the time, you know, they have their nice lighthearted moments. So you just like the mixture of both serious and lighthearted moments? Yeah, to me that makes a perfect game. A perfect game or anime is when you have, you know, you have your serious moments, you know when to be serious, but all the other times, you know, you have your lighthearted and, you know, happy moments. I, I like that. <laughs> he only activates Ether. <laughs> After the enemy gets almost killed, and look, he got strength. I mean, speed. Look, look guys, look. Ike leveled up. Even Ike is getting better. Sandbag. Speed. <laughs> Sandbag. Oh shit. Sandbag. No, you're not gonna oh, even like I Smash Bros. They're, planning to do. they're gonna, they're gonna sneak their way in. That's exactly what they're doing. Should probably make a safe state and not let the whole don't get to the damn tent. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. All we had to do was save the damn tent, CJ. CJ. <laughs> I don't know if you. I don't know if you'd be interested in showing up to uh, Seb's GTA streams. No, not really. I, I personally find them pretty funny, though. <laughs> That's fine. 
like in the last episode we did yesterday, Seb jumped out of a plane without his without a parachute, <laughs> and CJ just landed on a car and died. <laughs> Oh my god, why did this happen? <laughs> it was a really funny cutscene. Oh, I'd imagine that was a funny cutscene. Yeah. Even though we only played GTA for like an hour at a time, it's still like really funny. Yeah, well... Oh well. It's gonna take a long-ass time for us to get through the entirety of GTA, just because of the fact that, uh... Hey Jacob, look what's gonna happen. Holy <laughs> shit, Mist actually killed somebody. Yep, she did. <laughs> Good on you, Mist. This is literally the first time we see Mist kill. <laughs> He's probably not proud of it. <laughs> yeah, likely not. More support! Can't go wrong with support. Aw, oh, no great ether. Oh well, maybe next time. I was, re I was ready for it that time. Surely that's a skin for Ike. Um, like a mod skin for Ike to put him in his promoted Radiant Dawn outfit. Honestly, that would be really cool. Might even be better than the one that I have where it's him from, uh, it's his promoted class from Path of Radiance. Because I have that as Ike's first skin in, um, Trash. Yeah, I just, yeah, I just want the mod where Ike becomes a Vanguard instead of a hero. I'll see if I can find Vanguard Ike for Trash. Yeah, I'm sure you really enjoy Vanguard, Ike. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. Yeah. He literally looks like he's ready to fight. Alright, well, let's look Let's look for some skins, then. Okay. Thing is, like though, it. here's the thing, though. The Vanguard Ike skin's probably gonna go over the Radiant Donald, which I already have replaced. So, I don't know. Well, Jacob, you'd be surprised at what's going to happen. <laughs> Let's see. Oh. Well, who the hell is this? I have no idea. Unclean souls, your executioner waits. Repent before your vile sins pour out of your black hearts. I mean, I don't know if I'm really in the mood to see Blackheart right now. No. Dang, dang it, Heather, that was like the one time you could have gone Bane and it actually mattered. Wait, hang on. They have a solid snake skin for Ike? That's pretty cool. Ooh. I've never seen that before. I'd love to see that. Well, shit. Who did, who did, which, which skin does solid a snake over? He's, is it a Path of Radiance Ike or is it a Radiant Dawn Ike? Who knows? It, it's a Path of Radiance, Ike. Oh, well. I'm sure there's someone I could get rid of for that. Like who? I don't know. I think I have some pretty mid Ike skins to get rid of. Wow, that's kind of unfair. <laughs> and oh. you just doubled. What wow. an asshole. Let's see if I have the sound effect. He's an asshole. <laughs> He's an asshole. He's, He's an gonna asshole. die. Yeah, fire is gonna do nothing. <laughs> He's gonna get dead eye. <laughs> Down. Nobody oh. got a crit. <laughs> That's twenty-seven, I think. Alright, well, I'm gonna... Oh, fuck, I put that in the wrong channel. Oops. 
I wanted to put it in my uh, Smash checklist for, um, channel. Okay, good idea. There you go. Oh, Zeppi said he's at work. Oh. Oh, uh, okay. He's, pro he's probably jacking off. He has <laughs> a job, you know. Yeah, a hand job. Idiot. Got I'm him. saying he's working. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Literally kills a Pegasus Knight who doubles. <laughs> he just stabbed the Pegasus Knight. Dink. Well, I mean, he doesn't even need to level up anything. Death, but my work is not yet complete. I mean, honestly, he doesn't even need stats. Unless he needs res. Oh yeah, he maxed out all the good stats. <laughs> yep. Alright, Titania. Please give me some good stats. Please, Mommy Titania. I love you. He just one-shot a mage. Makes sense. Mages are fragile as hell. And she didn't level up. Oh, that's okay. Well, I gotta take a piss, so I'll be back. <laughs> I also one-shot. Well, I'm just going to wait for Jacob. How long has it been? It's been two hours and 14 minutes. We literally finished this chapter in how many turns? All oh, about an hour, I'd say. That looks like all of them. Fanatics that appear out of nowhere and attack from darkness. This will be tough. Well, it feels like we finished this in six turns, I think. <laughs> Finally, a nice quick chapter. Surprisingly, even this is a... This is actually a really good dark chapter. That's well, better than the ones in Engage, that's for sure. Yeah. I mean, this one is actually one of the better ones, to be honest. But... <laughs> wow. We literally finished... We literally finished this chapter in, like, six turns. Like I said. And are you alright? Why didn't you transform? Because my stats suck, and I didn't want Kurt, Prince Kurthnaga to be frightened, so I tried to hold him off in this shape. He hates blood. This can't go on. I'm gonna talk to him. Hey, Prince Kurt Cobain Naga. Uh, stay away. What's wrong? You taking a dump? Smell the blood on your sword. What, this? No problem, I'll go drop it over there. Hey, hey look, no sword. You okay now? Hey, yes. Good, I want to talk to you a little. Do you remember who I am? Yes, we once met three years ago in Koldoa. That's right, you do remember. You helped us when our ship ran aground, and you gave us food and water. Yes, you were the first Barok I ever met. Prince Kurthnaga, there's something I have to ask you. Before Yune's awakening, why did you side with the Dane army to fight against us and the Apostles' army? The Dragon Tribes are neutral, and known for their hatred of blood and war. As their prince, I can't see why you'd do it. I suppose I owe you an explanation for that. First of all, the Dragon Tribes had nothing to do with any of this. I... I disobeyed my father, and the laws of Goldoa, 
chose to battle against all my training, their own free will. If I just saw me leaving, I wouldn't have brought her into this. I just wanted, just wanted to help my sister. Well, that's a fair enough reason. Sister? You have a sister in Dane? Yes. A sister and brother, actually. My sister is named Al Almed Almeda. She was the wife of the late King Ashnard. Yeah, and I'm looking at him smiling in the background. <laughs> he looks like he's about to violate someone. He looks like he looks like he just took like the biggest dump of all time, and he's proud of it. <laughs> yeah, he's proud of it just because he's watching Milk and Family Guy. Yeah, he's while he's watching Milk and Family Guy while he's in the bathroom. True. You know what? He he also he looks like he just saw like the funniest Family Guy joke of all time. <laughs> yeah, he saw the funniest Family Guy joke of all time. It makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. Mad <laughs> King Palpatine was married to the Princess of Goldoa. Yes, and my brother's, my, my name, my brother's name was Rajayan. Oh yeah, didn't we, didn't we see him at the end of Path of Radiance? Yeah, he was, basically Ashnard was just abusing him, and just use him as a wyvern rider. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, so I do remember then. I'm surprised you did. Kind of surprising to say this, but we mostly remember anything that's from the final chapter in the game, or at least the, fi the final stretch of the game. I mean, that's just when shit gets really good. <laughs> no, and like this, this is where shit starts to get really good, especially in lore. Yeah. Rajan? Wasn't he the dragon that was warped and used by the Mad King? Wasn't Anna supposed to marry him? Called it. Yes. Savage Ashnard held his own baby hostage. The baby born of my sister, Almeda. Then he took my brother, Ragian, and warped him in order to use him as a mount like a common wyvern. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Ike, you were there at my brother's last hour. Sorry to ask you, but... When my brother died, did he die peacefully? Yeah, he did. Before he died, Mr. Van Driesen was able to undo what Ashnard had done to his body. Hey, it's the same exact scene that we've seen in Path of Radiance. Yeah, they just they reused it, because it's just that good. Yeah, it was a really nice moment of what happened. Rajian passed on Anna's arms with a contented smile as if he were sleeping peacefully. Thank you. It's a tremendous relief to know that. My sister was tangled in passionate schemes. Her brother was killed. Her son was taken away. She was unable to return to Goldoa and unable to consult our father. My sister has suffered so much. I wanted to help her. So that's why you came to Dane. I'm sure that was difficult for you to tell me. Thank you. Actually, it makes me feel a little better just talking about it. I won't repeat a word of anything you just told me. I swear on my father's grave. The Dragon Tribes and the Black Knight. They both lead back to Dane. Something about that country always draws me back to it. Well, so it's a pretty good, damn good ending. <laughs> yeah. But Jacob, we're gonna go back to the Hawk Army. Yo, Captain Falcon! Yep. We're going to the Hawk Army. Ooh, we got some good ones. The Lagoos warrior, Ranulf. And the Queen Mother of Dayan, Almeida. While they receive reports there they, they are there's everybody everyone is here they have almost everybody and have thus far traveled in peace mm-hmm 
Chapter two. A silent world. Hmm. Wonder if there are gonna be any hills in this chapter. Captain Falcon, Queen Alincia, we need to talk for a bit. Or halt oh, for a bit. What's the problem? Is it F Zero again? No, we have some stragglers lying behind. You mean Halmeda is showing us town again? We have to reach the Tower of Guidance as soon as possible. We can't have her always tempering our progress. We need to teach her how to play F-Zero so she can actually be fast. <laughs> yeah, actually be fast. She has. She's almost as slow as slow Kaya. <laughs> yeah, very, very slow Kaya. But we have... But we have no idea when the Disciple of Order might attack. We need to keep everyone together for safety... For safety's sake. Grayson. I mean, Mr. Van Dreesen, rest here. You can land and give your wings a break. Mr. Van Dreesen, I remember a trip like this would exhaust you. I'm impressed at how well you're handling it. Great. Yeah, physically, I'm quite healthy, but I can't say that I'm really happy about that, Beavis. Why would that be? Now, Budhead, we of the Heron Clan can feel the energies of others, okay? In times of war, negative energy is dominant and we sicken. Now that all of the people have been turned to stone, the energy is gone and physically, I feel much better. And thankfully, I didn't get kicked out of a bus this time. It's unsettling <laughs> to feel healthy and know that the reason is such a sad one. I actually know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> you know the after scene? The freaking, after the freaking bus driver tries to make a turn, he accidentally... <laughs> he accidentally presumably kills Mr. Van Dreesen. <laughs> yeah. After Van Dreesen just fell out of a window of a car, of hey, a freaking bus. Hey, can I find that? Can I find that fucking video? Yeah, you can do that. Like, what if I just search out Mr. Mr. Van Dreesen dies? <laughs> Yeah, Mr. Van Driesen dies. He gets injured no. by a bear. No, just put in the... Oh, yeah, touch a mountain, that one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's, 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 I'm gonna... I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> oh, yeah, here it is, here it is. <laughs> okay, that one, that one. <laughs> oh my god! You can even see the shock of the bus driver! <laughs> <laughs> even, <laughs> even the bus driver was shocked. Well, let me see the bus driver. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, no, no, just keep going, just keep going. Keep... <laughs> Look at him. Even he's shocked of what happened. Wow. Yeah, the bus driver's even shocked at what he did. Alright guys, if you want to see that video, just look up Beavis and Butthead Touch a Mountain. That's literally what it's called. <laughs> the shock value was priceless. <laughs> that is still like one of my favorite Mr. Van Driesen moments. Yeah, it is funny. Oh my god. Anyways, it's a terrible irony. We finally have peace. Have the peace we've been praying for at all the cost of freedom everywhere else. This truly be where be the world that Goddess Ashera wants for us? No, this is the world she'd give us after we ruined hers. <laughs> ah welcome back. Any sign of the disciple of orders? Or an, or an announcement for F-Zero GX to be re-released? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, no F-Zero GX on Switch. I don't like this. <laughs> Why are they leaving us so soon? How could you, Nintendo? I'm not sure I see the problem. I don't really give a shit about F-Zero GX anyway. If they're gonna let us stroll on through, I won't complain. Not me. I still want F-Zero <laughs> GX to be re-released. 
whether it's right or wrong. I would prefer a stand-up fight right now and ever. What are you saying, Captain Falcon? <laughs> How could you wish that upon where, us? Where Google Chrome? I don't understand. <laughs> not he's not in this game. Right now the world is calm, peaceful, almost eer eerily so. Almost it almost feels well comfortable. If this goes on, we might relax, lose our edge, worried that we'll get careless. <laughs> You'll start edging yourself. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> being edged. Yeah, I definitely don't want that. Nobody wants that. Everyone, let's get one thing perfectly clear. Here and now, this isn't a natural piece. It's Ashira's work. What do you mean? What do you mean, Elijah? They have they have Ike in this game. They got Captain exactly. Falcon. They yep. got um Slow Kaya. Yep. Um, we got everybody that we know. We have we have the funny British cat man. We have we have, we have some Mr. birds. Anderson. Just a bunch of a Palutena ripoff. Okay, I guess that's Lindsay now. She's a Palutena ripoff. <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, Palutena does exist before Lindsay, since she does exist in like 2005 or something. Um, no. <laughs> I I was talking about Lindsay. Oh, Lindsay. <laughs> like friggin' Palutena existed since the late 80s. Oh, that's what you mean. Yeah. What did you think I was talking about? I don't know. <laughs> the thing is that that the see that the freaking Kid Icarus series hasn't had a game for over a decade. Yeah, rip. Back then and now, decades through a decade. Well, at least I got to play Uprising. Yeah, literally Uprising is the best in the series. At least the short-lived series, just like what happened with Earthbound. Yep, and we also had um, we also had Palutena trying to cook <laughs> and yep. failing. Yeah, I actually do remember that that Nintendo 3DS short. Yeah, happened a long time ago. And I wish there was. I wish there was an Uprising anime. Yeah, give us Uprising anime, then I can see more Palutena Booba anime. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. Now look, Jacob, I am sure that Nintendo has done uh, sexualizing characters before. Y'all y'all probably done, but I'm at work. I know, I know. <laughs> we're, we're just doing this <laughs> I, last cut soon. Yeah, but like I said, Jacob, Nintendo is not afraid to sexualize their characters in specific games. Like in this, like in Fire Emblem, for example. Like in Metroid. <laughs> yep, like in Metroid. Uh, what else series do we know? That is known for sexualizing characters. F Zero. Yeah, it is a T-rated game after all. Yeah, have you seen the cutscenes in F Zero GX? There's, oh, definitely. There, there's that. There's that one cutscene where um, uh, Super Arrow's wife is like in a bikini and like showing off her muscles. That's pretty yep. great. There's also. <laughs> The cutscene of Octoman flexing in a speedo. Oh my god, why? <laughs> that cutscene's pretty funny. So yeah, yeah. So yeah, um, you know, that's the great thing about F Zero is it really is for everybody. Whether you're into hot women, hot oily muscly guys, sexy yep. octopus men, you know, it's for everybody. <laughs> Even Black Shadow. Black Shadow. <laughs> If only it was Black Shadow Eggman. Black Shadow Eggman. <laughs> Anyways, don't forget that this world is an in is an instant. That the world isn't supposed to be like this. It should be noisy, vibrant, and chaotic, and have friggin' blue f like friggin' the the blue falcon. Yeah, now you know the genius of the falcon. You're right. Should have done it later. Nah. I can't do it later. I'm gonna play Amazing Mirror later. Yeah, Jacob. Uh, Jacob has a lot of games that's gonna happen this this week tonight. Yep, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna finish Amazing Mirror tonight, and then I'm gonna play yeah. with Porter later tonight, and then Tuesday. Um, I think I thought oh, actually I don't remember what's happening Tuesday. I forgot. All I'm saying is that I really hope we finish this game next week or so. 
eh, either next week or the week after, but definitely before the middle of August. I can guarantee that. I really hope so. Just like I'm anyway. going to probably finish Neptunia before the middle of August. That'd be nice. Yeah. A peace built on the surface of so many lives is monstrous and unjust. It cannot be allowed to stand. I didn't mean that I'm losing motivation to save the petrified people. Well, you should go ask Virgil, then. It's just that before we started talking about it, I was feeling complacent. Is it just me? The spirit of the Order is hanging heavy across the land. When we fight, we get a dose of chaos, which may help us get back in touch with our true selves. If our enemy has figured out that, it might explain why we're staying away. Alright, thanks for the wise wisdom, Captain Falcon. I should get more info before I get started. I guess, uh, I, I guess now we can, we can, you know, prepare and, uh... <laughs> there it is! The Rex Flame! We got the best home in the game. <laughs> One of the best home in the games. And yeah. I am most, I'm most likely going to give it to Khalil. You know what this song reminds me of? What? It reminds me of the second um, menu theme from Kid Icarus Uprising. I wonder why. Because it kind of has that same vibe. It has the same vibe where everything goes to shit. Yeah. And like, it feels hopeless, but there's also a bit of hope in the song still. Yeah. <laughs> you literally said days ago that it will... That, it'll, that you can see the similarities between this song and the Persona 2 map theme. Well, that's for Eternal Punishment. Well, I have a long way to level up Queen Alencia. Yeah, she really has not got a lot of screen time. Also, uh, what, also look at can you see, can you look at Janeth's portrait? <laughs> it looks like no, like it, it kind of looks like he's gonna have like a serious amount of back pain later in his life. <laughs> That might happen eventually. <laughs> I don't know why it looks like that. No, well. He's like bending over and he looks like his back's already giving out. It's like his back is giving up. Yeah, damn, Captain Falcon's level 31. Well, he is this strong. What did you expect? Alright. What I'm going to focus on Queen Alencia is that she she needs to level up both strength and speed. Yeah. So that's really what she needs. Well, honestly, it, it, this is a good time to end the stream anyways, because I'm getting hungry, so... We could probably just okay. say... We can save after all this leveling up. Good level up. How about another? Give me another. Another one. Yes! Got another one. Okay, give me some more. Yes! Okay, that's actually a good way to to end this to end this stream. Yo, it's my man Dev Dan. Yep, Dev Dan. Or Dan Ved. <laughs> well, I could have just given Kalo a level up, but I just want to give I just want to give friggin' Valencia more. I mean, who are okay. well? Who are you gonna who are gonna be your um, MVPs of this group? Well, let's see. Obviously, Captain Falcon, Rayson, and uh, probably Jim Carrey, since he is <laughs> going to promote yep. Lucia, even. Yeah, mm. I'm going to definitely bring along Lucia. Lynch, yeah, obviously. Yep. Um, probably not these three. <laughs> definitely not her. Not these three, either. <laughs> Khalil, Khalil, obviously. Yes. Brom. Brom, obviously. Brom. Yeah, yes, Brom. Brom. Not his daughter though. His daughter sucks. <laughs> maybe Dev Dan. Maybe Dev I can. Still maybe give him Dev. A Dan. I mean, he he's basically male. Um, he's basically male Nephany. Mia. Yeah, pretty much. Mia. Uh, that's a yes. I'm gonna keep her regardless. Yeah. And yeah, probably that's about it. I actually have an idea what I'm gonna do. Who has Paragon? I'm just gonna remove Paragon from her. And who deserves it the most? Mm. Maybe Alencia? 
Well, she doesn't really have any space for it. Actually, no, she does. She has just enough for Paragon. <laughs> Look at all those abilities she has now. I was originally going to give Paragon to Khalil. Well, give Khalil Imbue then. What does Imbue do? Oh, never mind. Apparently, you can't give her anything. Yeah, but still, I. I just really want to level up Khalil quickly. Well, think about it this way: she's gonna, she's closer to leveling up than Alencia because she only needs five levels. Compared to Alencia, yeah. he he needs ten, actually fifteen rather. Yeah, she really does need fifteen level ups. And he's the and the Satoria sign. I'm sure that Captain Falcon doesn't need. What the hell is the Satori sign again? Oh, for Goose of level thirty. Yeah, basically, he doesn't need it. Who does need it, then? I'm not sure, to be quite honest. They're not at level 30 yet, so... Oh, well. Yeah. Okay, so, I think it's a good time to end the episode, because... I really hope we can keep doing this tomorrow. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll let you know if I have time, but... Wow, we actually went for... Two and a half hours. It's, that's a decently length episode, I'd say. It's just those cutscenes kind of drag on for a while. I think like 20 minutes. Jacob, though, Jacob, we are in the final section of the game, so it's meant to be like this. Yeah, it has to be this way. <laughs> yep. I'm not sure if you're going to be free on the morning because it's most likely that you're going to play Neptunia, which I'm okay with. Yeah, I mean, I didn't get. I probably won't get to play Neptunia today, so I kind of do want to play it tomorrow. But yeah. I'm pretty sure I'm free Wednesday, Wednesday morning. Oh, I'm actually, yeah, actually, 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 I'm free like all of Wednesday, so we could just play it. We could just play Radiant Dawn that night. What else days are you also free besides Wednesday? Um, Thursday. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna use that to my advantage. So you you can either get Wednesday night or Thursday night. <laughs> okay, that that's good, Jacob. I just want to I just want to get to the tower quickly this week. Well, you'll have you'll have one or one of those two days for it. Okay, I that is just good enough for me, Jacob. I just took. Yep. I'll just have enough time just in just in case we'll just finish the game, and we are pretty damn close to finishing the game. Yeah, that's good. We only have like nine or eight chapters. How many mm. chapters are there in the game? Uh, well, let's see. Um. Radiant Dawn chapters. I know there's like five endgame chapters. There's um, okay, so okay, so there's if you include prologue, there are six chapters before endgame. So there's we can get to endgame by next week. So we're gonna do chapter two and three tomorrow, or like uh, yeah, not that's... tomorrow, uh, on Wednesday or Thursday. Or Thursday. Yeah, that's why I want to do this in three days, Jacob. I just want to finish these chapters in three days. Mm, I'll see. Chapter four and five, we can do the day, the next session after Wednesday or Thursday. Okay. And then, and then after that, we would have um, the five endgame chapters. Yeah, the five endgame chapters is where shit start to happen, Jacob. Yeah, so we, we got some like preparations. Said, but like I said, things are gonna get really scary with the final five chapters. Hmm. I guess we'll I guess we'll see how long each of those chapters take because I feel like they're gonna be long. Yeah, I so, know that. So I don't know how many yeah. will get done per episode. Our goal is to finish two chapters each. That's two, we we try to finish two chapters per episode usually. Yeah, that's what I want us to do. One. And just. And Let's like, see. We already we already finished the dark chapter really quickly. Just think about it. We finished that one dark chapter that we did today, and it was really quick. Bare minimum, there will be five more parts left. <laughs> yeah, there will be. So, and, yeah. But hey, at least we will get to... We will see the end of the game pretty soon. Yep. And I'm hyped for that. But anyways, Jacob... Since this episode is done for, I'll just, I'll just hope that we speak to each other in a later time, so, yeah. Yeah, sure thing. Well, you have a good day, man. I'll see ya. You too, but uh... Yep, see ya. Alright, guys. Well, as always, make sure to like and subscribe, and YouTube and Twitch. Uh, 
Later today, in about, I want to say, three or four hours, me and Jordan are going to play uh, Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. We're going to finish that game up tonight. And then, even later than that, um, I, I bugged Porter a few nights ago, and he said he's down to play VR Chat again. So we're going we're gonna to try that out, and hopefully it'll go even better than the last one. So, uh, see you guys then.